So if I have my target in front, I am deploying my blade from the appendix position. I am striking towards the trachea or towards the eyes. By making this, I must also, in the same time, think of the evasion. So this means also disengaging from the X, going from there. So if I have a wall in my back, I can, of course, not move back. If I have a wall in my right, like in this situation, I cannot evade in that direction. So the only place it's in the lateral or diagonal of my target. And in this particular scenario, first I will start to show you very easy the drill, and then I will talk about it and why I am making like that. Why? What is the mindset behind the explanation, behind the movements that I am doing? So I have the deployment of the blade in which I am striking towards the trachea or towards the eye. In the same time, I am already disengaging. I am going from there. Now, very important. I am not going very far, but I am trying, if again, I am putting an obstacle thing all the time with the idea of the obstacles to understand where it's your point of East Asia. You can make exercises in which you really can put here an object, I don't know, a small furniture or a chair or something, and you imagine that that is a real obstacle, like a wall, for example, or a big furniture that you cannot pass. So you must, in somehow, find the right angle in diagonal, for example, to evade the target, to uh, disengage from the X. So I am striking towards the trachea and immediately I am also moving. I am trying to go to evade. When I am moving, because I was striking towards the eyes or towards the trachea, the normal reaction, if I am putting the blades, blade in the trachea or, or on the eye, it will be to bring the hands towards the neck or towards the eyes. So this is what is happening. This hand that you see here, it's simulating the hand. It will not anymore be near the body because it's a normal reaction. It will move up towards the face. So the area where, where the kidneys are will remain free. So I can access it. I strike towards the trachea, moving my body, and I'm going in this direction, very close to my target, because my strike was a having effect. When I will strike towards, I am seeing the reaction of my target, I am disengaging, hand very close to my body, yeah, I don't have on the right side, for example, in this situation, to access the heart, it will be able to access it from the left side, but still I have the lung, it can be punctured if it has the blade, or if I am raising the hand too up, I have the axillary artery, so I, tr I try to be very close with my hand near my body. So, because he has this reaction, now I have the possibility when I'm evading, because I'm not stopping here to make I don't know how many strikes to him, my first strike was having already effect, and now I want to evade, but in this position, in this situation, when I'm evading, this part is free, so when I'm continuing my movement, I can still twist only from the torso, so not stopping here, not twisting here, I am continuing my movement, and from the torso, I am accessing in a little bit in diagonal from down up, because the kidneys are left and right, uh, of the spine and they are protected the upper sides of the kidneys are protected by the last rib so I need a little bit to come in an angle and to access that I am stabbing of course the best is if you can also to twist the blade you twist it and you extract it but already because of the trachea or the eye my target is incapacitated I'm coming with the last strike like a plus to this to create a combo so I'm striking towards, disengaging, striking towards the kidneys, and I'm continuing my movement of evasion. If I make it a little bit more faster,
understanding what I am teaching, the mindset behind what I am teaching is very important. Again, I want to underline, don't remain focused on knife applications. Knives are having two main characteristics, pointed tip and sharp edge. Please focus on using the pointed tip, penetration type of strikes. Because if you are putting accent on cutting and you have a knife and you make, I don't know what type of drills with cuts and so on, even if you want to cut the important blood vessels, the arteries, Again, I remind you, your target will not be stopped in that particular moment. He can still continue to fight. If tomorrow you replace that with a screwdriver, for example, and you want to use it, your techniques that you learned using cutting type of methods will not help you so much. But if you are training on penetration, if I will have the screwdriver, it will be the same thing. I go in there, accessing the kidneys. It's the same thing. One, two. Doesn't matter what type of movements I'm doing, penetration is the same. Heart. Even if I'm here and I have the screwdriver and I'm going in lateral, from the sternum bone, left side, Diagonal towards the heart, I can still access it. If I want to access it between the intercostal space, is my, if my screwdriver has a good length, I can do the same thing. If I want to apply it with the drill that I was doing earlier, the same. I, kidneys, evading. Okay, tribe, thank you very much for watching this Pro Tips video episode. I hope that you understand the drill. Please test it, implement it in your training. Try different environmental configurations. Yeah, you can use furniture, walls. Do not be only in a particular direction. Do not be only in the back, the, the, uh, disengaging from the X only in the back direction, but to use also lateral or diagonal sides and to apply this drill. Thank you very much. Stay safe and train hard.